It's the 21st century. We live in a whirlwind of technological advancement. I mean, LED light bulbs, self-driving cars, buildings as tall as mountains, even computers that think. Yet, with all this technology, we replace this with this. The average American spends 90% of their time indoors. Think about it. Buildings are becoming ultra-efficient, highly insulated, and what happens is the dirty air is trapped in and the fresh air gets locked out by design. And because of this, it becomes extremely difficult to focus on your work. Poor air quality is very uncomfortable. Recirculated air in a building can become toxic. They even have a term for it. It's called sick building syndrome. It can cause chronic headaches, fatigue, sickness, and it's estimated to cost the industries over $60 billion a year due to people missing work and reduced productivity. So, how does this happen? Let's break it down. Air is mostly made up of nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and carbon dioxide, or CO2, which is only 0.04% of the total volume. Even small amounts of CO2 can negatively impact your ability to think and function. Have you ever had to read a sentence two or three times to understand it? You were probably in a closed space with potentially poor ventilation. Your exhaled breath is made up of high levels of CO2, which means the more people in a room, the more CO2 in the air. The average student, they breathe about 220 balloons full of air in a typical school day that's over 6,000 balloons in one classroom. This creates five times as much CO2 as fresh air. And all of that dirty air is then recirculated in your standard air conditioning system. Every year, over 14 million school days are missed because of asthma, which is directly tied to indoor air quality and mold. That's equivalent to the entire student population of Wyoming missing school every day for an entire year. So what would happen if instead of breathing this contaminated air, you brought in the perfect amount of fresh, filtered, perfectly conditioned outside air? One study shows that a reduction in CO2 doubles a person's brain function. Healthy buildings can reduce respiratory illnesses by up to 76% by balancing humidity and improving circulation. These simple changes can cut down on airborne diseases and allergies, reduce microbial activity, and prevent the buildup of mold. Healthier indoor air makes a huge difference. Not only does it make us feel better and perform at our best, it creates an environment worthy of the 21st century. Imagine the impact it can have on everything. With the highly effective, dedicated outdoor air system, this transformation could save you millions and cost as little as $1 per person per year. Let's get some fresh air. <laughs>